Hey y'all, welcome to the Second of Strength podcast. My name is Tanner Clark. I went from sitting at a desk to speaking on stage internationally to inspire teenagers and people like you. My goal is simple, help you find your one second of strength to walk away from the things that are holding you back, to step into your potential and ultimately find happiness. Thank you for spending your valuable seconds with me today. Let's go. What is going on? Welcome to the Second Restraint Podcast, wherever you are. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for spending your valuable seconds with me. Um, Look, I believe that our seconds matter. The seconds that we have, all of them add up, but every single second matters. That's why this is the Second Restraint Podcast, because I believe that you can use these seconds in a way that are going to help you. So I know that if you're here listening to this, um, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that you're here. But um, I want to dive in um, something that's been on my mind a lot, and I think that will help um, some of you, but um, help you grow, help you learn, help you step into your potential, the person that you can become. And um, there's a story, uh, a real story, historical event um, back in 1519 when the Spaniards were coming across the ocean to basically in search for gold and search for new land to um, um, to conquer the conquistadors, right? So uh, Hernan Cortez in 1519 came across uh, the ocean and when they when they arrived in search of, you know, they had these dreams, these ambitions, they were in search of these, you know, this treasure. And like us, we are in search of something, right? We're all in search for something. And uh, as the story goes, when they got to uh, the shores of Mexico, they um, he he instructed his his crew. There was about six hundred warriors, soldiers, um, conquistadors. He instructed his crew to turn around and destroy the ships, and um, and they did. And so. The, the thought process, and if you've ever heard the phrase, burn the boats, that's where that phrase come from. So I think historically, if you read into it, they didn't actually burn the boats. They destroyed them another way. But the fact is they did destroy the boats. And the reason is, is because when they got there, he didn't want his people, his, his men, to have a way out. Essentially, the only way off this island, the only way to win, the only success is forward. We can't go backwards. There's no out. There's no safety net. There is nothing that's going to allow us to go backwards and and consider this a victory in 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 their lives as they were pursuing this treasure. And they went on to, uh, I think, to 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 you know defeat the Aztecs and you know the rest is history in that sense whatever, you know, however we feel about that, but that's what happened. And I think the question is, and what I've been feeling in my life and the question I have for you is, is are we leaving safety nets in our lives that are keeping us from really being able to, to soar, to climb, to, to succeed? Because I think that too often we, we leave ourselves a way out we're going to we're going to attempt something we're going to go forward i'm going to i'm going to you know try and i'm going to try this new venture i'm going to try and be successful i'm going to you know whatever it is whatever your aspiration is whatever your dream is whatever you want to accomplish in life are you leaving yourself a way out are you giving yourself a way to fall back a safety net something like that versus burning the boats versus giving yourself no way out, giving yourself, you know, put, putting your back against a wall so that success is the only option. I believe that, that in those moments of trial, in those moments of struggle, when we are, when our back's against the wall, that is when we have this, this immense level of creativity, this immense level that allows us to push forward, allows us to pursue, allows us to, to come up with new ideas and thought processes and, and ways to overcome that we don't necessarily have the other way. And, and if we're always giving ourselves a, a safety net, a way out, if we've always got the boat that we can run back to and sail off into safety, then, then I think we're doing ourselves a disservice. And the question is, what are the boats you need to burn in your life to achieve what you want. What are the boats you have to burn in your life to achieve what you want? And I 
I just believe that too often we aren't doing that. And, and here's here's the reality is 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 we are creatures of survival. Like like our brain is naturally equipped to just protect us. We we want the easy path. We want the simple. We want you know things that aren't painful. We want things that aren't aren't going to hurt us. Aren't going to harm us. And so when we get into this like stressful situation where we are pursuing a path of of growth, where we're pursuing a path of our dreams, where we are pushing and achieving, trying to achieve something great that we've never accomplished, maybe no one else has ever accomplished, and we are on this road towards this this treasure, towards what we really want. Our brain is like, whoa, whoa, man, like, slow down. Like, let's let's look at this other way. Let's go, like, it's really comfortable back there. Let's go backwards. Let's be a little bit safer. Let's be a little cautious on this thing. Let's protect ourselves in case something happens. Like, like that's the way we are naturally equipped. But if we burn our boats, if we burn the boat, we burn the bridge, we, 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 we cut ties with our past life, the past life that's not serving us, that's holding us back, then the only way forward is forward. The only way to success is forward. And I think too often we're not allowing ourselves to do that in our lives. And so I would invite you today to take a minute and just think about think about where you're at. Think about what you want to accomplish in your life. Think, think about like, like this God-given potential that you have deep inside of you that is just waiting to come out. And what is the, what is the, what is the boat that you're holding on to that is just taking you backwards, that is not going to allow you to get there. You know, we, my daughter came in the other day and she's like, Hey, did you know, if you tie a horse to a, a post or don't even tie it, you just like set the, uh, set, I can't remember what it's called, the halter, the, you know, the, uh, what do you call that thing? Whatever it's called. Um, it's been a while since I've ridden a horse, but, um, if, if you just set it there, the horse won't leave. And the same things with an elephant. An elephant will not leave if you tie, if you like, just like tie an elephant's leash to a tiny stool. The elephant won't leave because you've trained it that it can't leave. And same thing with my dog. Like we've got a, we've got an in-ground fence. You know, when he was a puppy, he learned that that fence would shock him. We never put the shock collar on him anymore. He just believes that he can't leave the neighbor, he can't leave the yard. So he just stays there all the time. He never leaves the yard because he's he's worried about what might happen. And I think that we've kind of got these proverbial shock collars on ourselves where we are just saying, hey, I'm a little bit too nervous to go out there all the way. I'm a little bit too nervous to step out, you know, beyond a comfort zone, beyond a place that I don't I don't know that I can, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to get there. I don't know what to do. And so we we don't. We just stay. We stay where we are. We stay in this stagnant life. And I just have to ask you, like, is that what you want? Is that what you want for your life? Like this is like this is the one shot. We got one shot at this life. And it's going fast. These seconds are flying by. It's going fast. I think you turn around and you're like, man, I remember when I was in college. I remember when I was in high school. I remember when I was, you know, when I was when I was young or whatever, however old you are, but you look back and you go, man, that seems like it was yesterday. What well, was? And tomorrow's coming. And so the question is, what are you going to do with your life? Are we just going to sit here and we're going to just like sit in comfort and wear these shock collars and fill in our comfort zone to just stay where we're at because it's comfortable and it's easy? I think you were born for more. I know you were. I, I know you were. I know you've got this like ingrained in you. And I don't know what that is for you. Like everybody's got these different dreams, goals, and ambitions that they want to chase. And I don't know what yours are. But I know that you have them. And I know that they're important to you. And I know it's a it's a path and a pursuit that you want to take. The question is, are you too comfortable? Are you allowing your your survivalist brain to say, hey, not too far, not too fast. Don't fall too hard. Failure is tough. Like, are, are we allowing this to happen or are we ready to burn the boats? Are we ready to say, hey, I know I was born for more and it's time to take that step and go for more? Because I think that sometimes if we have, if you have that feeling, that feeling deep inside of you, that feeling that is just like calling to you and it is saying, you have more to give. If you have that in you, that is not like, that's not a curse. That's a blessing. And and that is, that is, I think the, the nature, I think that is your intuition. I think that is the spirit, whatever you believe in. I think that is calling you. 
to pursue your path to greatness. I think it is calling to you. But too often we go, yeah, it might be, but I got to have this safety net. I got to be safe enough. If I fall, I'm not going to get hurt too bad. I'll be able to rebound quickly. Um, but but the, the reality is, is if you want to get to where you want to get to in your life, it requires it to be done without a safety net. It requires it to be burning the boats. It requires you to just move forward with faith, with hope, with effort, with action, with with all the tools that you have, that you've been gifted with. It requires you to take that step forward and move. And if you don't, someday we're going to look back on this life and go, man, I wish I could have, could have, should have, would have. And could have, should have, would have is not a place that I want to live. It's not a place that you want to live. It's not a place that anyone wants to live. But the best news is, is that you have what it takes right inside of you already to pursue that path to greatness. It's already there. And it doesn't mean that you have to know how to get there. It doesn't mean that you have to know what's the path, what's the way, what's, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you take that step, that you decide that you're worth it because you are worth it. And you take that step and you decide that you are going to move forward because you deserve to move forward for yourself. You deserve to move forward for everyone else. You deserve to move forward because it's, it's what you were born with. It's the gift that you have, and it's the gift that you get to share with this world. But too many times we're sitting there going, that's just a little too scary. It's a little too far, a little too fast, a little too far away from the boat. What if I get in trouble? I got to go backwards. I got to go backwards. And so we default. We end up in this place, and sometimes it's a start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. And we go, oh, I'm going to do it this time. And then we go, ah, a little too scary, a little too fast, and we stop. Okay, now's my chance. I'm going to go. And then we stop. And, and the reality is that the only way to get to where you want to go in this life, the only way to get to your passions, your dreams, your aspirations, everything that you want to accomplish is constant movement forward. There is no backwards. There is no backwards. You have to burn the boats. So wherever you're at right now, wherever you're going through, whatever you have these dreams, these aspirations, and I know you have them, I know you do, um, take a minute and think. Are you playing it too safe? Are you giving yourself too many too many outlets, too many places where you can fall back, too many off ramps that you can get off of if it gets a little scary, a little fast? And I would invite you to to strategically and smartly burn the boats. I would invite you to move forward and only forward. I would invite you to put blinders on so you're never looking backwards, you're never looking to the side, and move forward into that great unknown that is your life. Because at the end of that road, if you keep moving forward, is a life well lived, a life that you deserve to live, a life that that nobody else deserves except for you. But you have to be willing to move forward and burn the boat. So Wherever you are, I hope this helps you. It's something that's been on my mind a lot recently, whether it's for me, whether it's for you. I always believe that when I'm on this podcast or I'm in a school speaking or I'm in any other event speaking, I know that there's one person who needs the message that, that I share. And a lot of times in a school, a, a little, you know, one of the one of the middle school or high schools will come up afterwards and tell me it was for them. And so I think this is for you. I just feel in my heart that 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 you need to hear this as much as I do. So wherever you're at, I know you can do this. I believe in you. I have faith in you. I know you can do this. It's time to burn the boats. So I'll leave you like I always do. Go find your one second of strength and be happy. Thank you for listening to today's episode. I hope it helped you. If you haven't already, hit subscribe so you never miss another episode and leave a review for the show. And as always, go find your one second of strength and be happy.